This week you can win a field tested AK Phantom Disruptor. To enter, like every week, like, comment, and subscribe, and react to the posting on my Discord server linked below. The video will be drawn live on my Twitch every Friday and Monday at 17 CET. Also, a shout out to all my boys on Patreon. If you want to learn more about this gold trading and win 25 7 trading coach right at your hand, you can find all of that there. Thanks! So, if you have traded recently, or at least try to, you might have encountered something like this. Unable to load details for this trade, followed by items now unavailable for trade, trade offers cancelled, you sent too many requests, multiple errors and problems on external sites, something went wrong with green guy, blue guy or purple guy, there was an error sending your offer, or there was an error accepting this trade offer, please try again later. Error number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> So yeah, recently with the introduction and the works around CS2, this has been really ducking bad. But no matter when you encounter problems like this, there are a few things you still can do. Or at least try out to complete trades, have your inventory loaded or get your Steam working again. This video focuses on CSGO items, but as these problems are not specific with CSGO, it will most likely also help you with other games or Steam in general. So let's go through the most common problems you might encounter on Steam. After this message of my sponsor. This video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey.com. SkinsMonkey is an automated CSGO bot trading site. They offer a huge amount of skins to instantly trade to, 24-7 live chat support and a 35% bonus on every cash deposit. With our referral code NEON, you can get a free up to $5 bonus on your first trade when exchanging items worth at least $100. So like you can see here, I've catered a little bit and found this cool deal on SkinsMonkey. I also use my $5 bonus, I just selected these 5 items out of my inventory for these two gut knife safari meshes field tested. I even got some leftover balance on the side which I can use for my next trade. The two gut knives were on trade logs so I just saved them onto the side but some days later I could just withdraw them to my steam and as you can see here I've got a really good upgrade and with my bonus code also a really good deal. So check out skins monkey right now, link to the side with my bonus code is in the description. Recently, this has been really bad. There are a lot of updates and works around CS2 happening right now, which unfortunately makes CSGO and its items very hard to use and trade. But we can see a pattern here. The most problems occur when Valve is working. As the headquarters are located in Washington, USA, you can see the most problems occurring on Steam between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. GMT minus 4. Outside of it, it is working pretty fine, so be sure to be aware of that. But before we start fixing your Steam and spend maybe some time with it, it can be worth checking steamstat.us. There you can see the current stats of the connection with Steam and the inventories and you can easily see if there is a big problem on Steam's side. Also check out some reddits, twitters or forums to see if other people experience your problem at the moment. Of course, it can still be that it is fixable on your side, but some problems are just on the server side of Steam. Yeah, they are just out of your control and you can just wait until they are fixed by Valve. But yeah, let's see what we can actually do. The first thing you should do whenever you encounter an error like this is use a VPN, especially with the current request limit that Steam has lowered by a lot. This can be an easy fix for many problems. Steam is also really bad in telling you what the exact problem is. Because in most cases they just say an error occurred or an unexpected problem occurred. Have problems or errors ever been expected? So even if it does not tell you that, it could be that you just got rate limited and need a VPN or similar to reset that. If you're using external plugins to improve your CSGO trading or Steam experience like CSGO Trader, Steam Inventory Helper or CSGO Fraud Market Checker, your browser just sends a lot of requests to the server which Steam wrongly identifies as a bot or server attack. So just use a VPN to reset your connection and it should work again. 
If this didn't help you, you can do number two. The classic computer things. Reset your PC, log out and log in again, try it on another machine or other browser and clear your browser data if you're using Steam there. Most computer guys do not 100% know why this fixes so many problems, but it does, so it is definitely worth trying it out. Number three, reinstall or repair Steam or the game with which the problem occurs. Sometimes it is just some corrupt file that causes your problem, so I link to the official thread by Steam down below how you can fix Steam and something like that, so you can just follow that there. And with repairing or reinstalling your game, just go to your Steam library, right click onto the game, properties, local files and just check the files for errors, or just right click onto the game to fully uninstall it and install it again. Number four, just try again or later. With many actions or trades, at the moment it just takes some time until the server recognizes what you want to do. So if a trade offer gets cancelled for example, just try a few times, eventually it will work. This happens a lot, especially at the moment, because the server, especially when it's under works by Valve, just cannot handle that many requests at once. So if it can handle, let's say 100,000 requests per second, but there are around 500,000 coming in, you have a 1 in 5 chance that your request gets through. So just try a bit and hopefully and eventually it will work and I had this a lot with CSGO trading lately. But if you try it like 10 times, maybe stop doing it because then it's not working. If your problem is still persistent after these 4 steps, there are only 3 things you can do. First, Google your problem for more information. Sometimes specific errors on Steam require a specific thing to do, which I cannot just cover all here. Second, contact Steam about the problem. Yes, I know, Steam support has a reputation for taking weeks to answer with an automatic message that does not help you at all, but sometimes it's the only thing you can do. And if your problem is new, you will definitely get some help there. Let's hope it. And last, just wait. Some problems, even if they are 100% client-sided, will just solve themselves after some time. I understand that this is really frustrating and you never know if or when this might happen, but sometimes that's just how it works. Yeah, I hope I could help somebody. I think this wraps up the video really good. Do not forget to join the giveaway, my boys. I am Neon and I'll see you guys in the next one.